The big story, a tough road ahead, the fallout from GM's restructuring plans. The move by the country's largest automaker is being called the New Black Monday. It could impact upwards of 7,000 families right here in Metro Detroit. And all of us will likely feel the economic effects of the cuts. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner is live at the Detroit Hamtramck Assembly Plant, where 1,500 jobs are now on the line. Certainly a tough blow for a lot of people, especially right before Christmas, Jim. Yeah, Carolyn, I talked with a real estate agent. She says this is bad news. Her husband is salaried with General Motors. More cuts could be coming from Ford. So she says we're going to see a glut of houses on the Metro Detroit market, reversing current trends, and we could see more short sales where owners sell their house for less than they owe just to get out from under it. But there's a flip side to this. Some are saying what's good for GM is good for us. So how can that be? a healthy, profitable, vibrant General Motors. It's not only good for Detroit and Michigan, it's absolutely critical. This move by GM stops production on cars that are not selling, closes the plants that build them, and is applauded by some because it paves the way to the future. So in 1980, General Motors had about 63% of the U.S. market share. They have about 17% now. Autonomy, electrification, and mobility services, that's a real world uh, situation and issue. But don't try to sell that to the workers who are losing their jobs in the middle of the holiday season. It's going to have a big ripple um, in the industry, contractors and GM direct employees uh, both. It affects everybody. It's yeah. not just GM, you know, this is a trickle down effect. Right now, the U.S. economy is humming. Christmas shopping season is already setting sales records. Unemployment is down to the lowest levels in decades. But the economy runs on cycles. And Ford has already eliminated some slow-selling car models and is expected to make more staff cuts. Some say as many as 10,000 Metro Detroit hourly and salary jobs. I think we have to be optimistic about um, where current employees can be redeployed. It has already been suggested by President Trump and Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan that GM retool the plants that would close. Fiat Chrysler did that just two years ago in Sterling Heights when it stopped making the Chrysler 200 car and spent one and a half billion dollars to transform the plant to build hot selling Dodge Ram pickups. I mean change is happening right now and this is a company that wants to stay ahead of the inflection point instead of being a victim of the inflection point. And GM is feeling the heat from critics including President Trump over the job cuts putting out a statement this afternoon saying they will need workers to make the future product and workers from plants like this one set for a shutdown could transfer into those jobs. Carolyn? Jim, i got to ask you, how is this going to affect labor relations between General Motors and the United Auto Workers Union at this point? Yeah, the UAW came out strongly against this because of the job cuts. They're in contract talks next year. You know the union is going to fight to save jobs when those talks start up. You know they will. Thank you so much, Jim, for the live report. With GM's future on the line, we'll be sure to bring you any new developments on air and online at WXYZ.com.